Channel's Night Crawl New York, John Murray from Oxygen's Funny Girls, which you can see Tuesdays at 11 p.m., Yamanika Saunders, CNN legal analyst Sonny Hostin, and star of NBC's hit show The Night Shift, actor Scott Wolf. <laughs> Up. They say that marriage isn't for everyone, and apparently that now includes Sean Diddy Combs. In a recent interview on Watch What Happens Live, the rapper talked about his reluctance to walk down the aisle. Take a look at this. You know, I don't want to be, you know, going to courts and having somebody, like, interfere in my relationship, so I'd rather just do the Goldie Hawn. I love the Goldie Hawn. Yeah, the Goldie Hawn I love the Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn That's great. awesome. But I, I will, I will give a contract. I will commit to a contract. You will. A love contract. A love yes. contract. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. OK, what, what's a love contract? Isn't that marriage? That is such <laughs> nonsense, I got to tell you. Diddy has six children by three different women, OK? So the bottom line is, if he's committed enough to have a child with someone, I think he should be committed enough to get married. I, 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 you know, that, that's the bottom line. And if a man is not marrying you, it's because he's just not that into you. Listen, Sonny, he... I, I hear what you're saying, but, you know, my best friend uh -oh. Sherry Shepard has been through two horrible divorces. Mm -hmm. So watching her go through that, I want no parts of marriage. Diddy is a king. He got, like, 20 kids with 16 <laughs> baby mamas, and yeah. he takes them all out on a yacht together for Mother's Day. That's like, that's ridiculous. a king. That's but ridiculous. But Diddy Hawn and Kurt Russell, when we refer to the Goldie Hawn, they've been together for 32 years, never married. So it can work. But they've just been together. Yes. It's the two of them raising a family. So they've made that decision. But Diddy just doesn't want to commit. Look at Oprah what? and Stedman. It's a great relationship. I love it. <laughs> Scott, what do you think well, about my, this? One of, my love best, contract? one of my best friends is, uh, has a child with a, a guy. And, and they've been together five years. And they have a really committed relationship. I don't necessarily believe that people have to call it or label it one thing or another. Um, but uh, if my wife, I think, during our courtship had decided she loved me and was committed but didn't want to marry me, somewhere I think I'd wonder what was holding her back or if she was as committed as I would want her to as be. You would I, I am be. wondering why he just mentioned a wife but doesn't have a wedding band on. See, I don't this. wear a Oh, you don't. You I was about to I say, do. I, I just peeped right? that Meredith doesn't right? have one on either. I don't get that. I can't believe she just did that to I me. Just, I can't I just either. don't get it. That's crazy. I, just, have I don't wear a wedding band either, but I'm not, not married. married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't wear one. <laughs> wait, 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 I forgot to check it. I'm sorry. Wait. Why don't you wear my, it? My wife is going to be watching this, and I need to make this clear. Okay. I, I do wear my uh, wedding band, but I'm working, and I play a character on TV. I know this sounds kind of shifty. Oh, and my character's not married, and, and invariably I'll forget and I'll have it on set, and then someone has to take it and they have it clipped to their clothes, and then I lose it or, for, or forget oh. it at work. But you're here now, and you don't play the role of a talk show guest. <laughs> and I'm gonna stop talking about it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't wear one because I, I did have one, and it turned my finger green. I was oh. allergic to it. Oh. oh. Or it was cheap. Yeah. One of the yeah. <laughs> And then I don't have particularly pretty hands. I don't want to draw attention. And I once got a ring caught, you know, and one of, yeah. like, a, where I thought I was going to pull my finger off, so. But, I, but I've been married almost 11 years. In a couple weeks, it'll be 11 years. And oh. I still have the same ring. It's, it's, it's I have not okay. lost All right. it. All right. All right. Give you. I've taken right. good care of it. <laughs> Moving on, speaking of love contracts, newlyweds George and Amal, I hate to bring them up. All right. They plan to keep things close. Clooney recently told an Australian newspaper, quote, there was nothing tough about getting used to marriage. Our only adjustments are figuring out our schedules. And our deal is that we can't be more than a week apart. And so far, it has worked out pretty well you for see, them. See, because he was ready to commit. He was the, just the forever bachelor, but he met the girl. But you know what? George and he married her. also a control freak because he dresses her and all bunch of stuff. Well, I mean, he's he cute, but he all up in her no. grill and her business. You get, get away from me she for a while. Good. No, but he says he doesn't. But he's dressing her. He says he doesn't. But he I have says to say, she has her own sense of style. Oh, she, somebody, does, somebody, she has her own sense of style, but he's still dressing her, telling her what her sense of style is. <laughs> That's what I heard. Did I you don't tell know. me that? I ain't tell you that, but listen. Okay. <laughs> you know me under the bus. Don't, 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 don't put that on me, though. <laughs> being a super bachelor the way George yeah, Clooney's yeah. been, I'm surprised she doesn't have one of those tracking devices like you do when somebody's on, like, house arrest after they yeah. get out of prison or something, because she's got to keep her eye on him. Oh, I, I think he's totally committed that to, to Amal. I yeah, have no doubt. Yeah, he's obsessed with yes. her. Yeah, he's well, with her. And I do know people this has worked for. You know, Dr. Rowe, the nutritionist, who's on this show quite a bit, she was sharing with me here that for the first 10 years of her marriage, her husband was an ER doctor in Alabama, and she lived in D.C. So it was like a honeymoon for literally 10 years, because they did two yeah. weeks in D.C., two weeks in 
Alabama, and they missed each other in between. So she said it was always fun for them. Well, you're operating out of two cities now, right? I am. I think this is a great uh, thing for a commitment and a relationship. I actually, my family lives in Los Angeles. We shoot uh, this show I'm doing in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And, uh, you know, I think part of a committed relationship is being part of each other's day-to-day -day lives and staying yeah. connected. And when there's that much space and time between you, it's hard not to have there be some disconnect and some drift. And uh, I, I think love it's great that they're time. I love it. I'm with you, <laughs> I love it. Oh, I, uh, no, I, oh, I do. I'm I don't mean it. every other week, but there's something nice about going off for a little while and like coming the, back. I don't like or the little, space. Listen. Really? Yeah, I mean, well, I've been married for 17 years. He's a surgeon. I'm, I'm a lawyer, and, and, and our schedules are very hectic. But I don't like to go a day, two days, three days without what, what's checking happen? in. What do you think is going to happen? Well, I miss him, but yeah. I also feel this disconnect. Like, what was your day like, sweetheart? And I think that's what commitment is. But see, is you got highfalutin problems, OK? <laughs> we talk about everyday people that are sitting going 9 to 5. They don't want to be in each other's face. Go to Costco, get a whole bunch of stuff, come back in three weeks. Why are you here? I'm with you. All right. uh, when I get married, my wife can have a house up the block, and I'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> OK, all right, let's move on. It really, it looked like a tender moment on Monday night's Dancing with the Stars. I don't know if you were watching, but semifinalist Noah Galloway proposed to his girlfriend live after his performance. Very, very sweet. But then, now, of course, critics on Twitter have gone after the show's co-host, Erin Andrews, saying she looked, quote, more than annoyed, end quote, during the surprise proposal. Others claim that she was rolling her eyes. Let's take a look at the tape. I've, I've got to do this here because okay. this. Oh, no, no, no. I, I thought she was moved. I didn't think she was rolling her eyes. Yeah, I, I, well, I here's the thing. Uh, oh, you can freeze it and you'll yeah, see anything. See, you know, I did see her going into that girl don't cry right now moment. Right. That's but what I, you, that's what she, I, and I can see she did that. Yeah, For me, don't judge me. My face says it all. I would have totally been like, girl, yes or no, let's get this show. We dancing here, not getting married, okay? Well, I'm single. Well, I don't want to get see your happiness. Win. Put it on YouTube. I'll click on the later when I'm hugging my cat. Monica, I have, have to those say, faces, though. we all have those faces. And Yamanika has that face, because yesterday, Yamanika, you were rolling your eyes at me on this very set <laughs> yesterday. Yamanika, <laughs> tell, tell the truth and say it the devil. Your face does say it all. Yeah. The only know. time I don't want you to make that face, though, is when I propose to Gail King, I don't want either you nor Oprah to make that face, because Gail King's going to say that. That's a roll your eyes face. No. That's, a you, that's a you smell face. <laughs> What is it? She was like, why did they bring him a mint during commercial break? <laughs> what were you going to say? What were you I thinking? I don't know. See, it's, this is the thing. A lot of you things are going on anything. in my head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thinking about, uh, am I ever going to find a man? Is happiness ever going to come? What did I have for breakfast? Well, am I going to eat something? I didn't want to wait to do this, but... <laughs> <laughs> Will you go to lunch with me? Yes! <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> What's your take before I move on? I mean, it definitely looked like an eye roll, but to me it looked like a, are you kidding me, this is the sweetest thing I've ever seen, as opposed to are you kidding me, you're wasting my time. I agree, yeah. and I yeah. like Aaron Andrews, yeah. and, and I congratulate that couple. I think it's a How hard exciting time. is that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, don't go anywhere. We have much more right after this.